What is it like having a hairless, derpy mohawk dog in my life every day? Well, I know, it's a weird pet. There's not only one, but there's two. So today you are going to find out because everybody wants to know, what is it like having a hairless, derpy mohawk dog like this in my life every day? Stay tuned because this video is going to explain what it's exactly like because there's not only one, but there's two. Welcome back to another episode of A1A Adventures. Today, we are going to discuss what it's like to have a hairless derpy mohawk dog, and two of them for that fact. So we have two hairless derpy dogs. If you haven't seen them before on this channel, we have many videos, even a playlist on my hairless derpy dog. And it is a hairless dog, and there's several questions I'm sure that you guys would like to have some answers to common questions and there's unlimited amounts of them there's so many questions we get on all platforms that we're on and post all different pictures with these dogs and people say what is wrong with them what's going on with them i'm sure there's so many infinite amounts of questions and if you do have a question make sure you comment it below right now so we can go ahead and answer it in our future videos that we have with our hairless dogs as well as subscribe to this channel please and give it a thumbs up it helps all these dog videos we have and continues them to flourish and so many people can learn about what it's like to have a hairless derpy dog. So let's get to it and show you these two doggos. So the infamous drip king, Leonidas. Leo, the hairless derpy doggo, the derpiest dog alive, Leo, the hairless chihuahua. So Leo, having a hairless derpy dog, and what derpy is, is just derpy looks like, they have like kind of like a silly kind of meh kind of face, just like this. This is the definition of derpy and should be in the dictionary if you look up or if you search derpy, this should be the example of what a derp looks like. Look at that face. So many people ask, well, what's wrong with him? Is there anything wrong with him? Nope, just a tired and lazy mohawk dog currently right now. Now, Leo always has his mohawk styled and always up to par for all of the videos for the most part. We do not have to shave him or anything on his body rather than or other than his face a little bit, kind of just around right over here and on his snout because if we didn't, he would have all these long prickly, almost like a Lorax mustache. If you ever seen that character, the Lorax, that's kind of what he looks like when we don't shave him. But otherwise, it's not as long as his mohawk. The mohawk is all natural. It stays just like that just as stylish as it looks right here, except sometimes we do dye it, depending on the occasion or during the holidays we do for fun, sometimes for social media posts. Yes, with all safe, dog-friendly mohawk dye. People also ask, why is his tongue like this? Make sure to check out the Q&A, the question and answer video we have on all of the questions we had, which we were bombarded by so many after Leo went viral for his first time on TikTok, and recently another viral video on TikTok that reached over 30 million views for this derpy doggo. So people love Leo so much, it's ridiculous. So there's so many questions to answer. We answer a lot of them as well on TikTok. With the videos that we do post, we include the comments, so that does help the other users as well because it gets them noticed. So always comment on our videos and all comments, as many as we can, we will answer to our most and best ability. Does their skin get dry? That is a very common question. Does a hairless dog's skin get dry? Yes, it does get dry, and it does need a little bit of extra TLC, tender loving care to it, because without, then basically, this little baby, he'd be itching all the time, because definitely is itchy if it's not dry, if it's not well balanced, if it's kind of just, you know, it's not too much care, but we always have to make sure he has some lotion at least once or twice a day on him. And of course, you know, with rough housing, now that we have a puppy, when they do play, we have to be careful because both of them can get hurt a little more easier than a dog with a nice big thick coat of fur because there is no barrier as well as if they do itch a lot it shows on their skin it can look very ugly as it'll be red and irritated so we do want to make sure that just like a dog's healthy fur coat that these dogs being that they have no fur and lack thereof we want to make sure their skin always looks healthy so they always are pleasantly aesthetic to look at right and always have a nice healthy appearance as well right leo and speaking of moisture, let's talk about that weird old tongue. So the tongue on this dog is big and kind of never stopped growing ever since Leo was a puppy. 
So after he was a puppy, I mean, there's been crazy comments saying, would you ever get surgery to remove the tongue and or to shorten it? And honestly, no. Uh, and to recent unfortunate events, several people that we do follow on social media have lost their animals, and those animals were famous as well. They went and undergone a surgery, and due to the anesthesia reaction that didn't turn out too well, they did lose their pets. So... Definitely not a good risk unless it's absolutely imperative and must happen and With Leo and his situation with his tongue. No, it never interferes. It's always, you know Perfectly fine and it gives him a nice little, you know, distinguished look That's a part of his personality and his character as well So we would never put him at risk as this is our baby and our family member as well as all of our animals are at a1a adventures so if it's not broke don't try to fix it right so that's it so leo's tongue it just kind of never stopped growing as he was a puppy and there's you know just you know very few teeth let's see you want to show him your teeth leo come here very few teeth leo has up front so it kind of just falls out of the side and just that's it kind of just lays right there isn't that right leonidas leo does love the outdoors and enjoys going for long walks anywhere on the beach on the sidewalk anywhere and on that note can also use sunblock outside because it needs to be some all natural and baby safe sunblock so once again it's kind of gentle to his skin and there's no risks of any breakouts or any adverse health reactions as sensitive as a hairless dog can be to some skin products all different types of oils are friendly for a hairless dog, or at least this one, shall we say. Olive oil, shea butter, cocoa butter, cacao butter, they're all good for this dog's skin and no reactions, as well as coconut oil. And Leo does have one to two baths every single week, so we do have to make sure we do upkeep on cleanliness as well as replenishing the moisture. Uh, not only on the dog's skin, but on his tongue as well. I know, it's a weird pet. Oh, and look at that. Speaking of that mohawk mixed with an unshaved face, I actually do have a family photo of Leo right here. This is what he looks like without a white mohawk and an unshaved, ungroomed face. <sighs> Look at that beast. Oh, goodness. Now, that is... This was at a baseball game. I think at my son's baseball game. And that's that. We just kind of dyed his hair red. I think they were the Red Sox that year. And look at the face. That's it. So when we don't shave Leo's face, goodness, what a wreck that can be. Look at that. Oh, goodness. What a stud, but still, like I said, not high maintenance, but definitely cannot be neglected to keep this stud up to this par. Goodness, drippy. And even right here, right now, you still can use a little cleanup, pal. And our most newest addition to A1A Adventures and our newest puppy is this crazy mama Sophie this is Sophie now she's a hairless dog as well but she's a Chinese crested and I'm just trying to think just how much bigger she is than Leo because we did a recent video when we brought them both to the dog park and you could see but now that was already I think a week to 10 days and she grows every single week she hops like a freaking deer she is very agile and very athletic way way more than Leo and a complete I mean almost uncomparable to Leo <laughs> and I mean if it was one or the other to survive an apocalypse it's definitely gonna be this one ten times stronger so much more I don't know just so much more energetic and she will not stop chewing so we have to have all these toys all around the house to make sure that she's not chewing our fingers and all the shoes up and everything too so I mean all we do is play with her all day long so I'm just filming so she's kind of going at it right now but still she doesn't stop what do you see what is it what is it is it something outside hmm what is it what is it and the same exact care would apply for Sophie as well as far as the bathing goes and the cleaning as well as now the difference as far as the hair goes her size is already one difference and as Leo being a hairless Chihuahua and Sophie being a Chinese crested and a completely different breed they are gonna have different attributes to them and different of course see look a little itchy a little itchy you need some lotion mama and not to mention her diet is about three times as much as Leo a lot more and that is it. 
It's as simple as that. Owning hairless, derpy dogs isn't as challenging and as possible for anybody to achieve with dog experience or just with some research, but hairless dogs are absolutely amazing if you have allergies because on that allergy note, they are hypoallergenic, which means if you do have allergies to fur or hair and dander, this is the key to eliminating that. No stuffy noses, none of that bad allergy stuff. Only crazy puppy training and patience. So on that note, thank you for watching all of our hairless derpy dog videos. This is Sophie. Once again, if you wanna see her grow and you wanna see her evolve into an adult hairless derpy dog, make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Hit that notification bell button so every time we post a new dog video, you see it here first. As always, stay adventurous, just as adventurous as this hairless dog is, Sophie. A1A Adventure.